Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get pre-orders of all the upcoming Force of Will sets, as well as releases of previous sets after they come out, as well as FowlLibrary.com, a wonderful resource for deck lists, article discussions, and more. Check them out at FowlLibrary.com, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer member Vite Raman. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, Ruler, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Olivia Prissia box list. Before we jump into it, do just want to give you a reminder that once again, there are pre-orders up right now for this uh, first set of Dual Cluster Game of Gods and the starter decks available at Odyssey Games in the link below. So check those out if you haven't gotten your pre-orders in, so you make sure you have products on time. Um, first off, we're playing, obviously, Olivia, so that we can have this randomness uh, correction. The, this deck really functions on this idea of... Um, really only needing like two randoms a turn, so like a dolly plus Olivia is usually enough to get you what you need. Um, sometimes you need more, um, but we're trying to minimize exactly how much we don't need to do that. So it's this idea of um, we're being very reactive, um, kind of uh, dodging our opponent's hit, counter punch one, two, and then kind of come back to center to be ready for the next one. So you really don't need that much randomization, you don't need to be quite so aggressive. Stone base wise, we're playing four stones of deep woods, three stones of knowledge, and then one each of Amadeus, uh, magic stone of dark depths, and magic stone of light vapors. You you could go for six ages stone, I suppose, but this deck really wants to be calling stone every single turn. Um, I'm not quite sold on exactly this lineup of the other stones beyond the deep woods. Um, probably potentially even playing the idea of maybe one less stone of knowledge and one of the Olivia stone. Um, it's kind of in flux. It's based on kind of um, what you think your matchups are going to be or what you think kind of the meta you're walking into. But you really want blue as soon as possible, right? Uh, and so the idea of maybe this goes down to one and then we put in um, the one of Olivia Stone so we have better access to blue. Main deck, we have three number 13 lightning, pa um, number 13 anti magics, three lightning passions, which is excellent for removal of stuff as well as being able to um, get rid of uh, tokens or kind of keep boards more clear, as well as being able to burn at instant speed, which is great against Belial. Two copies of Welser, which we are going to use as that Welser side to have a bounce back to hand, put a body on board because we're casting it for two. Four copies of Thunder Empress's Strike two copies of Call from the Depths. This is a change. We were playing three. The third one got moved into being a Brad that we could grab off of Prissia. Uh, one copy of Valentina, the owner of the theater. Four copies of Sparklefish, which this deck actually uses quite a bit for the untap, not just the um, cancel, so keep that in mind. A single copy of Olivia, because we can grab it off of Prissia at three, and it can just be a silence that gets you to find, find your way to lethal by tapping down everything your opponent owns. Uh, I mean, it taps your stuff down too, but then you go to your turn and you recover, so it's worth it. Uh, four copies of Dolly, two copies of Fish of the Demonic World, three copies of Pulsing Thunder, three Fiola, four Melfi for some draw power, and three Prissia Seeker of Friends. So it's not, um, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. I've been having some pretty good success with this list, um, especially at the local level, um, semi-competitive, I would say, um, matchup dependent. Um, but it is this very, like, you have to play patient, you have to accept the fact that it's gonna be a slow grind, you have to find your avenues for chip damage. Um, so in a format where maybe things feel a little bit unfair, um, you're playing kind of a fair foul deck, which can work well, um, but you have to accept the fact that your opponent might be doing unfair things. So just keep that in mind. Try it out for yourself. Let me know if there were other kinds of tech cards that you would try to tech in, or if you have questions about it, be happy to answer in the comment section down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 saying class dismissed.